Tori's putting on lipstick, but y'all like my new mug. Hey there guys, gals, and non-binary pals. My name is Allison. And I'm Tori. And this is Library Lists. So today we are doing a hybrid version of the booktube newbie tag and the reading habits tag. We got this idea from Anna over at Centauri Reads with her permission. Yeah, so we will leave her video and her channel down below as well if you want to go check them out. Her tag was really good and yeah. I definitely agree with a lot of the things she said so there might be some repeats here. <laughs> we'll go watch hers. Yeah. Um, now, we talked about doing the booktube newbie tag when we first started making videos, but I think we're just boring people, and we didn't have good answers for a lot of them. Yeah, a lot of them we kind of, we sat on it for a couple days, and neither of us could come up with anything other than, like, eh. So. Yeah. So, I really liked her version where she cut a lot of the same questions we would have cut, mm -hmm. and I didn't really think about just doing a hybrid version, so. Yeah, so that's what we're doing today. Yeah. We're going to start with the questions from the booktube newbie tag that we are stealing. Yes. So the first thing is, what are you most excited for about this new channel? And I think for me, it's definitely making booktube friends and bookish friends, because I don't have a lot of people in my life that read a lot of the same books I do. So I'm very excited to just scream excitedly into the camera about books. Yeah, same here, pretty much. I don't have a lot of friends who read in real life. I have some, but they don't have the same reading tastes as me, and I also read a lot of books all the time, whereas most of my friends in real life will read, like, maybe a book a month. So I'm really excited to get to talk to people about books, and especially new releases, because I love talking about new books. <laughs> Yeah, no, mostly I think we just want to make friends. Yeah. <laughs> Please be your friend. The second question is, why do you love reading? I think for me, it is mostly about escapism. Anna brought up, like, how you can get access to a lot more diversity in reading, and I definitely do really love that aspect. You get to see, like, other cultures and other people's experiences, and I do really love that. And I think the main thing for me is escapism into other worlds, which is the main reason I really like fantasy. <laughs> yeah, no, I really love to read nonfiction. I think nonfiction is a really good way to get a lot of knowledge about topics you might not know as much about, which is really cool. And I think it's just a really good way to learn. Like, I didn't read a single textbook in college. Do not get me wrong. I should have. I did not, though. But I will read nonfiction about whatever because I think it's really interesting and I learn a lot more from that. I absolutely adore nonfiction books and I tend to like really disparate nonfiction books. Like I end up reading about topics I would have never known about in the first place. Like some of my favorite books in nonfiction, there's one that's about like food safety regulation <laughs> that I really like. It's called Poison Squad. It's wonderful. And I also really like one called The Lost City of Z that's about Amazon exploration. Like I would have never known anything about those topics and through reading I get to learn those things. I mean we also read things that we know more about like you know physics and chemistry and whatnot but yeah more for like school reasons. I don't know. Well not really. For me. Not really. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need to know string theory but you know here I am. It's fine. <laughs> we just like learning. <laughs> Nerd squared. What? <laughs> but for me, I've always had my nose in a book and I, similarly to Tori, I like the <laughs> escapism because I hate my life. But <laughs> besides that, I think it's really cool to be able to create these worlds in your head and kind of craft your own version of a story. And then you can talk to somebody else and they might have a completely different take on it, even though you read the exact same book, which I think is really cool. So that's why I want more friends. Please, please talk to me about books. The next question is, what book or series got you into reading? So I have two different books for this. The first one got me into reading in general, it got me into reading more and like more voraciously, and that is Poison by Chris Wooding. I loved this book so much when I read it. I read it in middle school and I had been reading before that, but this one was the one that really showed me like what books could be. I don't know, it was so different than anything I had read up until this point and it was just like, oh, I don't have to read for like school or to like 
you know, be a better person and improve myself, which is what I had been doing up until that point. Like, I can just read and have a good time. <laughs> and then the book that got me kind of into the, not necessarily booktube world, but like the idea of reading like new releases and um, getting really into series and things was The Forest of Hands and Teeth by Carrie Ryan. I actually read Dead Toss Waves, which was the, the second book in this series first, and I loved it. And that was what started me going to the library all the time. But this one has a special place in my heart. I actually just reread this series and I'm so nostalgic for it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think that the series that really got me into reading was Harry Potter, but uh, we do not associate with her here any longer. Um, but I'll tell the story for the sake of the question. I learned to read when I was three so I have been reading for a very long time. I really loved reading the Magic Treehouse books when I was a kid and I read all of the series of Unfortunate Events books. I still have them to this day. They're still some of my favorite nostalgia reads to go back to. But the first like series that I really really got into was Harry Potter. When I was graduating from first grade my teacher gave me a copy of the first book for the summer and she said hey I think you might really enjoy this because you're one of the only kids in the class that like enjoys reading whereas everybody else got like Harry Potter themed like pens and notebooks and things but she gave me the actual book and I went home and I read it I made my mother take me to the store and buy the rest of the ones that were out at the time which I think was like three or four of them. It wasn't a ton. But those were the first ones that really got me like into reading, keeping up with new releases, and reading just as much as I could, especially with series. Which is really sad because uh haha <laughs> we don't fuck with her here. No, if we're talking about elementary school, holes. Holes got me. We read that in third grade and I was like, oh okay. So I'm gonna read forever now. <laughs> <laughs> And the last question that we're doing from the booktube newbie tag is what challenges do you think you will face in having this channel? Uh, I'm gonna go right out and say consistent uploading. Uh, we're both grad students and we're both grad students in the sciences right. specifically. So like free time who? Personal time where? Sleeping when? <laughs> Okay, so now we are going to move on to the reading habits tag, which we're going to do this one in its entirety. For me, getting to see other booktubers and kind of how they read, I think really helps me to kind of decide, like, if they're going to be someone I like to watch on booktube or not, if that makes sense. Um, I think you can learn a lot about a person from their reading habits is basically what I am saying here, and you're about to find out how garbage I am, so. Me too. <laughs> So the first question is, do you have a certain place at home for reading? No. no. <laughs> I read in the bed, I read on the couch, I read on the floor, I read in the rabbit pen, I read at my desk, I read in the kitchen, I read while I'm showering. <laughs> Basically the same thing. I usually read in either the bed, on the couch, if it's late at night and this one's asleep, <laughs> I read on the couch, or I read in the bath a lot because I like to take baths with candles and a book. It's like my favorite way to relax. <laughs> Question number two is bookmark or random piece of paper? I've been trying to use bookmarks more, okay? And I tend to use like the flap, you know, like to tuck it, oh God, to tuck, like tuck it in if they're smaller books. And if it's a hardcover. Yeah, if it's a hardcover. Usually though, I don't use anything. <laughs> and I just kind of close the book and I hope I remember the page number. I do, I do very well. I get within like five pages when I open it and then I can really easily figure. It takes me like maybe 10 seconds to find my place again. Like it doesn't take me long. This is how I've always been. I've never used anything to mark my page. I'm so sorry. Yeah, she keeps getting bookmarks. Like this is going to bribe me into using bookmarks. I just close the book, okay? It's done, it's over, it's and closed. I, I pout when she does not do it and usually that means she'll reopen the book and use something. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna ask a question to counter this question, which is, is a bookmark not just a really fancy piece of paper? 
or cardstock, depending on what it's printed on. I have a wood bookmark, thank you. Oh, it's a fancy piece of paper! Wood is paper. Paper is wood. No! <laughs> Much in the same way that a diamond is not coal. <laughs> I like bookmarks. I just don't own a lot of bookmarks, so I don't really use them. If I happen to have a bookmark nearby, I will use it. But if I do not happen to have a bookmark nearby, I will use whatever I can find. I've used napkins. I've used receipts from stores. I've used homework. I've used the tag from the inside of my shirt because I literally couldn't find anything else so I cut the tag out of my shirt and used it as a bookmark one time. Uh, most of the time I dog ear the pages though when I can't find a bookmark. What? So the next question is can you just stop reading or do you have to stop on a chapter or after a certain amount of pages? No, I just... Whenever I'm done reading I put the book down. Usually if I'm like stopping reading for like going to bed or to get up and go get a snack or something, I'll try to come to the end of a chapter. But if I have to stop like for whatever, I just stop. I don't know. Yeah, no, I don't I don't think too hard about it. I kinda read like when we read before bed I read until I'm tired and then I just put the book down and go to bed. Um yeah. I try to like stop at a chapter if I know I'm not going to be back to that book for a while, but by a while I mean like a week or two. Question four <laughs> is, do you eat or drink while you are reading? I drink usually. I usually have a drink of some kind, whether it's water, tea, or you know, liquor. But <laughs> um, I don't usually eat anything. Sometimes I will, but I'm just too messy to do that. Yeah, mostly I think you snack on, like, candy type yeah. things. If I'm reading, I'll probably only eat, like, candy or something, because it's hard to fuck up a book with candy, you know? I don't know. Listen, those, like, airhead things we have, there's so much, like, sour sugar stuff on the outside of them. I am very different. I like to have a drink while I'm reading, but it's either coffee or water or iced tea. But I have to drink out of a straw when I'm reading. I can't, like, drink out of a mug. That's why a lot of my mugs I put straws in. Because I cannot just drink while I read. I have to drink out of a straw when I'm reading. But I do love to snack while I'm reading. I don't necessarily eat, like, a full meal while I'm reading. I used to do that as a kid. I used to, like, heat my lunch and my dinner and breakfast up. And I would, like, use the bowl to, like, prop my book open and read. <laughs> but now I mostly just kind of snack. Sorry, our camera decided to be a little bitch. So question number five is do you listen to music or TV while you read? So I usually don't listen to either to be honest with you. I normally read in silence. Um, sometimes I do like to read with like rain sounds in the background or like storms noises. I can read with music to lyrics but I have to repeat like the same thing over and over and over again which is actually what happened when I read Allegiant back in high school I listened to um the Save Rock and Roll album by Fall Out Boy on repeat non-stop can't listen to that album without thinking about that book now though so like there's that so I mostly go with either silence or like nature sounds or sometimes nature sounds with music. I'm pretty similar. I usually either read in silence or I do instrumental music or I will put the same song on repeat and just listen to that song. Um, occasionally I'll just put my music on shuffle and let it do it uh, as long as I know a song really well. If I don't know a song really well I will get distracted. Usually I'll put a song on repeat and then that song will be inextricably linked with that book. So, you know. Number six. Do you read one book at a time or several at once? Normally I have several books going at once, but they are in different formats. I usually have at least one physical book and an audiobook. And if I'm reading a graphic novel, that's kind of in addition to the other two. I don't usually read two books of the same format at the same time. Certainly not audiobooks. Certainly it's always only one audiobook, but um, physical books sometimes will have multiple going. Rarely though. I think for me, I think 
I usually have multiple things at one time that I am reading, but I tend to only focus on one of them at a time, if that makes sense. So like, I'll start an audiobook, but if I start reading a physical book, I'll basically forget about the audiobook and forget that it exists until I'm finished with the physical book type thing. I tend to read a lot more physical books because I have more time to read physical books, which sounds weird but I read really fast so like I can squeeze a book in. <laughs> so I could squeeze a book in if I'm reading it you know when I'm around the house on the weekends or in the evenings and the mornings before I go to work but with audiobooks I don't really get a chance to listen to them as often so I try to pick shorter audiobooks that I can listen to in kind of one go or you know like two or three. Number seven is do you read at home or do you read everywhere? Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> Absolutely everywhere. In waiting rooms, in my car, if I'm like have to wait somewhere. Sometimes if I'm stuck in really bad traffic I'll read in my car while I'm driving. Yeah. Um, not if we're not moving and only if my car's in park if the traffic is that bad. Yeah. Which has <laughs> happened so. Yeah. Um, anywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Question eight, do you read out loud or do you read silently in your head? So 99% of the time in my head. Um, but we have rabbits and they like it when you talk to them, but I'm very bad at talking to them. I don't know what to say. So t sometimes I'll just bring a book into the rabbit cage and read it to them and they like that. So I usually read in silence as well. I do occasionally read out loud to the rabbits or like if I find something really funny in a book I'll read it out loud to Tori but I don't read out loud unless I'm talking to bunnies which most of the time I don't. So number nine is do you read ahead or skip pages? Guilty as charged. You don't. No. A betrayal. <laughs> um I I tend to skip pages when it's really cringy sex scenes or like oh. honestly even if it's just sex scenes in general like I'm pretty sure that like red white and royal blue I had no idea that that was adult I thought it was YA so when I started reading it and I got to the first sex scene I was like in the shower and I was like oh oh this is too much I am I am naked oh god this is too much right now um and then like <laughs> from that point on with the rest of the book yeah no I, I skipped quite a bit because I like I would get to something and I'd be like mm, goodbye um it just makes me really uh, cringe when I read it. I mean, mm, not my thing. Um, no, I, and I also am really bad about like, if I think I figured out where the plot is going in a book, I'll sometimes skip to the end and read the last chapter to see like, or like the last couple pages to see. No. Um, I used to do it more when I was younger, but I still do sometimes now. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> I am the worst. I'm sorry, I have to go think about this relationship. <laughs> we got a new place together! You can't leave me! You have to pay rent! So I don't do that. <laughs> Number 10 is breaking the spines or keeping them, like, new. And I'm not sure that I fully understand this question because, like, merp. I mean, okay, I like my books to look pretty new. Not to say that I don't read them and that, like, I'll get rid of a book if the spine is cracked or whatever, but um, once it starts falling apart, I usually replace it. Yeah, no, I don't, I mean, we don't own a lot of paperbacks. Most of our books are hardbacks just because that's what we prefer to read, like hold and read. If a book spine happens to crack while I'm reading it, like that's fine. But I don't go around purposely trying to break them. And I don't get rid of it if it's cracked. I like my books to look like I've read them. I think it gives yourself character. I don't want them to look all super nice and pristine. I mean, we also get a lot of used books, so our books don't look pristine anyway most mm. of the time. Yeah. And the last question is, do you write in your books? I don't, but that's because I'm lazy. 
I'm not like opposed to like writing or highlighting or whatever in books. I'm just too lazy to do it. I just, I will put like sticky notes or sticky tabs in them, but that's only if I come back to it. I don't ever do that the first time I read a book through. Um, for me, it like takes away from the reading experience. Like my brain cannot comprehend like having to stop in the middle of a thought on a page to like put a tab. That is all the questions. Yeah, that is the booktube newbie slash reading habits tag. Yes, and thank you Anna for this idea. Yes, please. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Go check her video out, please. Yes. <laughs> um, I don't think you're supposed to tag people to do this, but like if you want to answer any of the questions, we'll also put those down in the description kind of like we did with the mid-year book freak out and if you want to answer any of those whether it be in a video or in just the comment section feel free to do so I think okay I, as always links and everything will be down below but yeah. other than that i think we're done yeah bye, bye.